Shakespeare's Hamlet. Alash Moop. This has been the subject of lots of critical discussion. Some people think of it as a symptom of his immaturity. So some people think of this play as, as a description of what happens when you're too much in your head, as a lot of young people are, right? So you go through adolescence, you withdraw into yourself, um, and you end up kind of thinking about things so much that you become unable to actually act in the outside world. Another thing that people point out is just that his information is itself in question, right? This, this ghost comes to him. But that's, even then, right, it's not, it's not the case that, like, ghosts were, were reliable then any more than they are now, right? Like, if a ghost were to come to me today, I would be pretty compelled by it, because I've never seen a ghost before, but I would also be like, um, like, logic tells me this is probably not real. Keep in mind, this is also, you know, they're, they're living in this Christian world. Like, ghosts are kind of a pagan, have a pagan resonance that's not to be trusted. So, right, so from the outset, Hamlet is like, um, if that is my dad, like, why is he trying to manipulate me into doing this? And how do I know it's really my dad? What if it's an evil demon? So the information he's working on is always incomplete, and that's why he devises the, the mousetrap play to try to catch Claudius in the act. But even that, that's another example of really circumstantial evidence, right? He's basing it again off of a fiction. So at every point, he's trying to make decisions based on incomplete information, based on fictions and reflections and ghosts, right? Not the thing itself. <laughs> 